What exactly does it mean to be alone together? Hello again, everyone. I'm Eli's dad with Project Eli, where we educate, lead, and inspire. May I give you my unbiased opinion of us being alone together? When you look at our present scenario, isn't it just one large oxymoron? Most Americans are clearly confused because we have no choice but to stand down as we avoid small crowds. Most of us are thinking, good grief, and let out a silent scream as we encounter potential carriers of the invisible enemy. Now for those of us that can conduct business at home, it's pretty much the same difference. But most people are trying to somehow make a working holiday out of this fine mess. We must put our blind faith in butthead leaders that tell us that it is a definite possibility that we may return to normal while the numbers of the potentially living dead are doubling daily. My least favorite part of the briefings, that are usually an hour or more, is the continual rehashing of old news concerning the antiquated system that was inherited three years ago and how we are awfully lucky that incoming flights from China and Europe were eliminated. Now, it's an open secret that the powers that be were informed of the virus's potential weeks before. And there was a conspicuous absence of any preventative action. In fact, the prevailing verbiage of intense apathy was loosely sealed in his sound bites seeking loud whispers to the media. The icy hot tone of his voice as he ignored the historical present was recorded live for all of us to hear. And the melancholy merriment that continues today as some of his enemies are either virus infected or virus affected leads credence to those that see an idiot savant conducting the orchestra like a one-man band. We now find ourselves relying on the business ethics of major corporations and the congressional ethics of our elected officials. Let us hope that they'll step up to the plate in these challenging times. And of course, there's we the people. There are those that still see the present circumstances as true fiction and possess an unconscious awareness that something is going on, but it doesn't involve them. These citizens must be treated like big babies. Now, instead of protesting wars and senseless death, as the college students of yesteryear did, we observed the selflessly selfish gathering on the beach and partying recklessly and infectingly. Hey, I just made up a new word. Granted, these are the actions of a minority, but they're still troubling nonetheless. And to those of you playing basketball, my number one passion as a teen, I understand that the hoops have been removed from the playgrounds in New York City parks. So please get the message. Now, as I stroll through the supermarket with a sad smile, I encounter people walking past me in the aisle. Now, I occasionally come into contact with people that I know and would normally engage in conversation. People to whom I would normally say, hey, give me a high five. Alas, the refrain has changed to, hey, give me six. But it's not all bad, as we are all patiently impatient for things to return to some semblance of normalcy, we must conclude that there will be a new normal. From this new normal, there will be an appreciation of all the advantages that we do possess. It'll be kind of like when the electricity goes out during a storm. You kind of take it for granted until it becomes available again. Let's take this time to reflect on all the things that we do have and should be grateful for. Let's appreciate interfacing with other people. 
let's appreciate those on the front lines that are sacrificing so much for all of us. Let's give them a thumbs up and a smile as we pass them by or pull up next to them at the stoplight. Let's make a positive out of the negative by spending some quiet thinking time being creative. Let's remember that from every problem, opportunity evolves simultaneously. Let's spend some quality time with those that are secluded with us. You can make a quarantine time a positive if you try. And let me give you one last oxymoron. We can all relax and listen to some country music. And because we never end a rant on a philosophical note, let's remain alone together and charge! I'm Eli's dad.